What is up everybody? It's your girl Danny. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, then welcome to my channel and don't forget to click that little subscribe button down below and that little bell for notifications. So today I'm sharing with you guys um, my dumpster diving makeup collection. For those of you who don't know, my husband and I have another channel and we do dumpster diving. Um, we also do a lot of other really cool videos so go check us out at TV. But today I'm going to share with you my collection of makeup, which is a lot. This is all the makeup that I found dumpster diving. I'd say in the past month and a half, two months. So I'm going to start out with some tweezers. Some crazy tweezers, like $25 tweezers. Um, I found these tweezers. This is part of the collection, so I'm going to share it with you guys. And as you can see, these are like 25 bucks, which is crazy. And then I found these other tweezers. You guys, sorry about that. I found these other tweezers that are $12. And I found another set of Tweezer Man tweezers and some Tweezer Man cuticle cutters. But now for the fun part, you guys. I have so much makeup here. It's not even funny. If you guys are not familiar with dumpster diving, um, a lot of stores throw away perfectly good products in their dumpsters and we find it. And there's a lot of people that find it, sell it, find it, donate it, find it and do a lot of different things with it. Um, as far as the makeup, I normally like donate it. If it's brand new, some of it I might sell, but wait until you guys see what we found. So I got this L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lash Mascara. And you guys need to get some chips and a drink because there's a lot of makeup here. I got the Maybelline. This is um, eyeshadow primer. Prime and Smooth eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go through this kind of quick because there is a lot. I don't want to keep you guys here for like six hours showing you all what I found. We got this Dream Glow palette. This is a baked eyeshadow palette. Now, as you guys can see, this is unopened. It's just a little bit damaged from, I guess, being thrown around, but it's never been opened before. It's pretty cool. We found that palette. We found the Dream Glow. This is a highlighter palette. Now, this palette wasn't open. Um, I did end up opening this one just to check it out. And it hasn't been used. It's just, again, damaged from being thrown around by the stores. Now, we usually find a lot of, like, mascaras, eyeliners, um, mainly mascara, eyeliner, foundation, stuff like that. We got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. And, you guys, this is thebomb.com. Really, really good stuff. I actually personally use this on myself. What is up, you guys? Thank you guys for tuning in. So I'm sharing with you guys my collection of dumpster diving makeup. I'm probably going to do a giveaway with this because I have a lot of it and I don't use it. So I just want to share it with you guys. Um, we got the Maybelline Master Eye Studio. This is an eyeliner. This is the worst eyeliner ever made by Maybelline, by the way. It's too fat. It doesn't work good. But it was free. I got the Maybelline Deep Brown Brow Drama, some eyelash adhesive, shout out to Southern Girls and everybody that's tuned in with me, thank you guys. We got this eyeshadow palette. Now this is another one, this hasn't been touched. Um, it's just damaged, I guess, from getting thrown around or whatever, but not touched. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Have another one of those same palettes. Somebody x this one out on the inside, but it wasn't used. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Southern Girls. Hey, Mary. Thank you guys for tuning in. I found this, which I think is really cool. If you have a hard time shaping your eyebrows, there are products out there to help you do that. Um, this is an instant brow, brow shaping stencil. So basically you put the stencil on your eyebrows and then you fill it in with pencil or 
however you like to do your brows. And one day I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys on how I do my brows. I actually don't have them done right now. Um, but normally when I do them, I always get compliments on them and I use a few different methods to keep them really nice. And you can use them if you have thin eyebrows, thick eyebrows, medium eyebrows, no eyebrows. So I'm gonna share that with you guys soon. Um, we also have this L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. I think I just showed you guys the same one of this. We have foundations. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation, the Revlon Color Stay. This is combination foundation. Combination foundation is really good, you guys. This is for um, people who have oily and dry skin. So if you have oily and dry skin, you definitely want to stick with a combination foundation because if you get um, a matte foundation and you have dry skin, it's going to make your skin look extra, extra dry. So this is something that would be perfect for you guys. We found this. This is one of my favorite lipsticks, by the way. Um, this is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. These are really nice. I don't like the wand on it. I don't like the applicator at all, but I love these. I have several different shades. We found this dumpster diving. You guys, all of this makeup that I'm showing you, it was all free. We found it all dumpster diving and there's a lot of it. So I'm definitely going to do a giveaway because I don't like keeping stuff that I don't use. I feel like it just goes to waste like that and that's not cool. Um, we found this Maybelline soft pearl eyeshadow single. We have another, this is a CC cream. It's by Alme. Kind of like flung that in there. Did you guys see that? That was funny. Um, what is this that we have? Real color stay matte. Oh my gosh. So this is a foundation stick. There are a lot of foundation sticks out on the market right now, you guys. And they last really long, but most of them are full coverage. This one I haven't tried. Um, it's called Real Colors. Never heard of it. Must be an off-brand. Doesn't mean it's bad, though. Does not mean it's bad. For those of you guys who are just tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just sharing my dumpster diving makeup collection with you guys. So we found this City Color Collection Contour Palette. Now, this is really cute, especially for somebody that's new to contouring. It has all the instructions that you need up top. This is not touched at all like this is brand brand new i think i have two of those look at that i have a double of that we have this is a correct um palette and basically you use this palette to be able to conceal any blemishes or any um you know bags under your eyes any imperfections no i would love to coupon i wish i could learn how dumpster dive we dumpster dive at a whole bunch of different stores and to be honest with you guys um all of this makeup came from every store but ulta seriously and if you guys want to see where we find our stuff we find lots of other really awesome things um you guys can go over to j cray tv the channel's linked on my home page under featured videos and you guys definitely need to go over there and check it out because you guys will be blown away by the things that we find. I'm blown away every time I find stuff. It's unbelievable. So we found this Pucker Up. This is, I think, a chapstick with some sunscreen in it. We found this Under Eye Circle Fast Fix. Now, this is brand new. This hasn't been used. Some products you'll find are used and not used. Um, if this is something you do, there are ways to sanitize the products that you find dumpster diving. And there's certain products that are like, I wouldn't even use them just not to take the chance. We got this Revlon Youth FX Fill. What is this? Fill and Blur Primer for the forehead. This stuff is really good, you guys. It helps to fill in any wrinkles, fine lines, anything like that. So your foundation goes on smoothly and doesn't seep into your wrinkles. We found this Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion for Lips. Now this is a tester and this is the one thing that we did find at Ulta. This is Color Correcting Cream. We got, oh my gosh, I just like, I'm like flinging stuff. Next thing you guys know what's going to happen, one of these pieces of makeup are going to bounce off of that box or bounce off of my bed somehow and... Pop me in the face or something. That would be pretty funny. All right. We have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with NYX, I'm just doing like a little like, 
you know, beauty lesson also while we're doing this. If you guys aren't familiar with NYX, um, NYX is a really awesome brand because they're super, super affordable and they have really high end, like high quality makeup. So I can compare NYX to something like MAC, except NYX is like a fraction of the price. So this is a NYX jumbo eye pencil. I really use a lot of NYX products in my daily routine. Love NYX, swear by it. This is the CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner. The Wet n Wild Brow Pencil. This is LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner Smudge Proof. Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. And now this came from Ulta as well. This is the Ulta Cream Compact Foundation. This was a tester. This can be sanitized. I definitely think I'm going to do a giveaway though because, like I said, I don't like holding on to things that I don't use. I don't think it's fair, especially when other people can use it. I found this Palladio lipstick. Now, these are one of the items that I personally, I wouldn't use. I don't use these things unless they're brand new um, because... I'm like a huge germaphobe, but this is a lipstick and there is a way that you guys can sanitize this lipstick. You can cut it with a razor and then clean it with alcohol. That would be up to you if you wanted to use that, but I'm just sharing this with you guys just so you can see what I have. If there's something you guys are interested in, um, if there's something you're interested in and you guys have been following me for a long time on here or you follow me and Jay on Jay TV, then shoot a little message down below you guys and let me know what you're interested in and we will see what we can work out. Also, like I said, I think I'm going to do a special giveaway for you guys. Now, this is really cute. This is like a dual chrome eyeshadow and this is by Femme Couture. This is a Sally's product and this is brand new. It's a little bit crumbled on the inside, but it is a brand new eyeshadow and it comes with two different colors in there. So it's really cute. This is another color correcting product. This palette was supposed to, I was going to dump this you guys because the tops broke, but in honesty, it's brand new. There's a little bit of like makeup residue on there that can be easily wiped off. And that's just from it being, you know, in the box with this collection of makeup. You guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I am back. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do some thrifting videos on my channel, makeup tutorials. And I'm also going to be doing um, <clears throat> some relationship videos as well. Because most of you know, I've been with my husband for 19 years. We have three kids. And we constantly get asked on our other channel... Um, how we keep it spicy and how we've been together so long and I love helping other people out So I'm gonna share like some of my tips with you guys and um, hopefully can help you guys out We got this Burt's Bees tinted lip balm Ah, Jody, I'm sorry. There's no ulti near you, but you know what? Most of this stuff 99% of this did not come from Ulta most of this stuff came from um Bed Bath & Beyond, from drugstores. It came from everywhere but Ulta. I'm not even joking, you guys. And Ulta has got to the point where they're destroying their makeup so badly. They're putting bleach on it and doing all kinds of things to deter people from getting it out of the dumpster. So um, at this point, I don't even know how safe it is to use makeup from Ulta. Now, this is a fake lash instant volume. And I don't even think, you guys... This is a dummy mascara. So this must have been a display in a store. Um, it's definitely a dummy. There's no mascara on here. Now these are good to use for different things. You can fill it up with a clear gel to do your eyebrows. Um, you can fill it up with a clear gel for your eyelashes. So these are pretty cool to have. And you can sanitize these. You can fill them up with alcohol, clean them out. So they're okay to use. We got this brush. Now this is like... I'm going to tell you right now, this is not maybe the best quality brush, but it does not feel too shabby. I'm not sure what brand this is. I honestly don't know what brand this is. It says Face Series. Maybe that's the brand. Not sure. We found um, these strip lashes. 
We found Color Made Easy. This is another Femme Couture. This is from Sally's. This is a dual chrome eyeshadow. And there's also two colors in this. Never been used. It's just a little crack. And as you can see, this was a clearance price of $5.59. So that was pretty cool. This is a concealer stick. And that's by Palladio. Then we have the Real Colors Stay Glowing Longwear Highlighter. Now this can be fixed. Um, there's ways that you guys can fix this because a lot of these products that are brand new, the seals aren't broken under here, but the products crumbled maybe from being dropped or the way it was tossed in the dumpster. I mean, these can be fixed. And when you fix these, you'll get a really nice, beautiful highlight, which is really, really pretty, really brings out your cheekbones and really makes your your makeup look awesome and your skin look beautiful so let's see what else we have here you guys there's so much makeup here this is a boutique pencil this is a lip liner this is a nyx eyebrow pencil this is a maybelline master conceal camouflage concealer this is really really great um maybelline recently came out with a lot of new products with the camouflaging the concealer the blushes and I have to tell you guys, they really like stepped it up a notch and um, their products got way better. Like the quality of the makeup itself, way better. And the price is still affordable. So I'm really a huge fan of Maybelline. I like them a lot. This is another NYX. This is a NYX lip cream. And if you guys love makeup and you love a deal, go to CVS. I've went into CVS. I can't even tell you how many times that I've got free stuff. That's the one store that I know how to coupon at <clears throat> and get those CVS um, extra bucks. I've walked in there so many times and walked out with a whole bunch of brand new makeup for free. So if you like makeup and you like saving money or you're on a tight budget and feel guilty when you buy makeup, go to CVS because you guys will get the deals. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. So this is a really pretty lipstick by Revlon. And Revlon, not a fan of their makeup. Really not. But the Revlon lipsticks, I absolutely love. This is an orange flip. So this is really pretty. This looks like it's brand new. And this is a great color for the summertime. Absolutely love that. All right, we found another duochrome eyeshadow. This has two colors. This is still sealed. And that's from Sally's. This is an Ardell Blonde Brow Pomade, brand new. So it's a brand new brow pomade. Hope everybody's having an awesome evening tonight. If you guys follow us on JCrate TV, we're about to go live in a little while and hit a dumpster dive. If you guys aren't sub to us on JCrate TV, then head over there now because you guys don't want to miss out on this dive that we're about to do live shortly. We have a L'Oreal Paris. This is a Sunset Sienna eyeshadow. Really cute. We have another Femme Couture product. Now this product says tester on it, so a lot of people have used this product, I'm sure. Uh, pretty gross. That's gonna go in the garbage. Didn't even look at that till now. We have, ooh, what is this? I don't even think I've seen this. So this says tester. Okay, this, this is a gold liner. And this is really cute. Um, I don't know if I would use this, but this is really cute. I love different types of eyeliners, different colors. It'll make your eyes pop. That's gold, pretty cool. This is a double-ended lipstick. It's a lipstick and a lip gloss at the end. This honestly looks like a Dollar Tree product. I think that's what it is. It's LA Colors, which they carry in a Dollar Tree. This is an e.l.f. lip liner and blending brush. Let's see what the lip liner looks like. All right, so for a lip liner like this that comes from the dumpster, it's really easy to sanitize. You cut off the tip of it with a razor blade, and then you take alcohol and you clean this whole entire thing down. And it's good. But if you guys are like me and you like squeamish and don't want to use it, I don't blame you. But if there's something you guys see that you're interested in, comment down below and let me know. Because there's a lot of makeup here. Now, I actually have one of these. I'm still trying to figure out if I like it a lot or just like it a little bit. This is the Maybelline um, Master 
contour and this is a contour and also a concealer in one I say concealer I I use this as a concealer and a highlighter um I don't really like to call this a highlighter because the shade is like not so brightening but it makes your skin look really nice you can throw a little highlighter over the top of it and hook it up on the makeup you guys we got another chapstick. We have a bronzer blush duo. Do you guys see my fingers? This is from touching this makeup just from this video. It's crazy. All right, we have a lip liner. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner. We have another, oh, this is a really pretty nude color lip liner by Maybelline. This can be sharpened and sanitized very easily. This is another eyeliner. Now, what is really good about white eyeliner? A lot of people don't know what to do with white eyeliner, but what I like to do with the white eyeliner is I put it right in here and it gives you a nice pop. It really, really does. It gives you a nice pop. It brightens up your eyes. Absolutely love it. Now, this is a Sally Girl eyeshadow single. That's like a gray eyeshadow, so that's real pretty. We have the... Real Colors Hydra Eyes Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. We have the Real Colors Lasting Matte Lip Cream. This is a lip gloss and a glitter. This is a Palladio Lip Stain. Fake Eyelash Instant Volume Mascara. Another Palladio Lip Liner. A boutique lip liner. This is another eyeshadow that's kind of crumbled. I don't know what that is, you guys. I'm dropping everything here. I'm dropping it all. All right. This is actually mine. Don't know how it fell in there. But this um, is going to be on our other channel for a giveaway. It's pretty awesome, you guys. Pretty awesome. I need to get my Dr. Pepper on right now because I am like dying for Dr. Pepper. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. Now this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow. This is supposed to last up to 24 hours. It is long lasting. I don't particularly like the stick. It also comes in a little pot. Like I said, huge fan of Maybelline because it's super affordable. This is another color corrector. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like fighting with this makeup here. Here's another chapstick. Now this is a, what is this? An anti-puff eye roller by Garnier. Now this feels full. I think this was brand new and Jay took it out of the package. I don't remember. I'm almost positive this is brand new. But this is really good because the metal helps to depuff under here. And then there's usually a moisturizer in there, which really brightens this up makes it look really nice if you have any bags under your eyes or like dark circles we have another l'oreal this is a really pretty color this is a l'oreal infallible ombre eyeshadow in the color infinite sky really really pretty another chapstick this is a lipstick that lost its other half R.I.P. to the wand. R.I.P. to the wand, you guys. All right. Then we have the Maybelline Color Sensational Precision Lip Liner. I own several of these. Like them a lot. Um, this is Palladio Waterproof Eyeliner. We have another chapstick. We have another lip stain. This is another tester, I'm almost positive because it feels like one. Yeah, this is another tester. We have a boutique eyeliner. I mean a lip liner, you guys, sorry about that. Now this is a really cute, this is Bitsy Long Lasting Lip Color. See that? What's up, Broken Blade Gaming? Thank you. Thank you guys who are all tuned in with me and hanging out with me. Um, for those of you who have been with me since day one, you guys probably see I haven't been on here in about a month, which is really long because I was uploading videos all the time. Um, but I've been helping my hubby Jay out and we've been working on 
our jcray tv channel to bring you guys really awesome videos on there as well so i'm going to be doing both now um i'm back here but if you guys want to see dumpster diving and actually see when we find these awesome things you guys gotta head over there because it's really cool and if there's any special makeup tutorials that you guys want to see please let me know i am like the bomb.com when it comes to doing makeup today i'm very like bare I have a lip liner on, um, a MAC lip liner, and a really light MAC lipstick. That's it. I don't have any foundation, mascara, eye brush, uh, eye brush, eyeshadow, eyebrows, anything. I have nothing on but the lipstick and the lip liner. So I do a really good job with makeup, though, you guys. Don't let this, don't let this fool you. Taking a little break today. We have um, another long... What is this? A long wear automatic eyeliner. I wonder what brand this is. This is a Sally's brand. We have another matte lipstick crayon. We have another eyeliner. Another eyeliner. This is L'Oreal, you guys. Another Femme Couture eyeliner, which lost its other part, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We have a nice Palladio blush. Maybe, what is this? Maybelline Color Sensational. You guys, this is the one I'm telling you. They have this in a pencil, and they also have it like this. They're both awesome. They're both pencils. You know what I mean. One that you can sharpen, and one that's already sharpened. And these Maybelline Lip Sensational lip liners are really, really good. I love them. I have a whole bunch that I bought with my own money, and I absolutely love them. You guys got to try them out. I have another Palladio eyeliner. This is in the color Olive. I have some random little five color lipstick thing. This kind of looks like a kid's lip color maybe. I have, ooh, this is pretty. This kind, this reminds me of Napoleon ice cream, you guys. Does that remind you of Napoleon ice cream? If you guys don't know what Napoleon ice cream is, it's the chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Your eyeshadow to look new again. Kim, I honestly, I would suggest after, um, I want to say a year, I would toss any eyeshadows. Um, you can give it a wipe down with a makeup remover wipe. Um, I've done that sometimes. Like if I'm gifting makeup to my mom or something, I'll take it and I'll wipe it down and sanitize it and I'll use a makeup removing wipe and I'll go right over the top of the eyeshadow with it and it kind of helps to smooth it out it cleans it it'll make it look fresh and like bring it back to life again um so that's like I would say that's the best way to do it without putting too much work and effort into it because it works really well and it's really simple I love this eyeshadow you guys this is from Sally's also so that's cute Then we have the Maybelline. This is, which one is this? This is another Maybelline Ombre eyeshadow. Kim, you're so sweet. Thank you for coming over here to visit me. I need a little Danny time, you know? Danny, Danny time. Not Jay and Danny time. We have, these are awesome. I know this is not makeup, but I gotta share this with you guys. This is a glitter gel polish. Look how pretty that is. This is really, really pretty. I think you have to use these gel, the gel ones, this brand jellies, whatever you call it there. I think you have to use that. Oh, you know what? Oh yes, this is the gel one. Yeah, you have to use a UV light for this, but there are some gel polishes that you don't have to use an, uh, a UV light with. So, and that's just a gel top coat. And this is a clear top coat. This is a gold eyeliner. That's some funky eyeliner right there. Ooh, funky, funky. And that's about it, you guys. So those are all of the products that we found dumpster diving. Um, as you guys can see, that's a lot of makeup. Like I filled up this whole box just now. I took it from one box to another box. And that is really... A lot a lot of stuff you guys it's unbelievable to me 
what these stores actually throw away. So I want you guys to tune in tomorrow. I'm going to do a really cool makeup tutorial for you guys. Um, this year is all about keeping it more natural. And instead of all the matte lipstick like we had last year, right now is like glossy and shiny. And I'm going to hook you guys up with a really cute makeup tutorial tomorrow. So you guys don't forget to tune in. If you guys aren't sub to my channel, my other channel, my hubby and my channel on Jcray TV, you guys head over there and um, check it out really quick. And I'm just gonna answer a few questions really quickly before I go. Let's see. Tony said, what I have done to refresh mine is to crush them into a fine powder, mix with rubbing alcohol to make a paste, then pat them back in their cases, press down with paper towel. All right. That's another way you can do that. Um, if it's your own personal eyeshadow, it's not something that you found in a dumpster. I personally wouldn't do all that with the alcohol. It's like, you know, a lot of extra steps. Try doing it with the makeup wipes. If you have makeup that just needs a little freshening, you know, a little touch up. Um, if it looks a little like left in the dark, just take your, um, makeup remover wipes just wipe it down smooth it out and it'll come out fine now if you have makeup that's cracked or crumbled definitely go ahead put the rubbing alcohol do the whole nine like that but um other than that i would suggest just to hit it with the makeup removing wipes and just clean it up michelle i absolutely agree with you watching the watching how other people do makeup it really helps to give you tips um, on how to try your makeup differently. And that's why I really started this channel because I do my makeup really awesome. Every time, and I'm not trying to sound like jerky because I'm not, but every time I go out in public, I have makeup on. I always get compliments. I was in Macy's. I was at like five different makeup counters. Everyone I went to, the women were like, oh my gosh, how'd you do that eyeshadow with that eyeliner? It looks beautiful. How do you do that wing? So it really made me start this channel to share that with you guys. Um, I definitely am going to be doing other things besides the makeup tutorials. I'm going to be doing, um, dumpster diving makeup hauls and thrifting and relationship, um, videos, you know, because I think I have a lot of tips that can help a lot of people out with a lot of different things. And I really love being here with you guys, sharing my time with you guys, getting to know you all and, um, helping you guys out. So with that being said, I hope to see you guys here tomorrow for my makeup tutorial. Um, same time, same place. And I love you guys. And thank you for tuning in. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.